Hi guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, we're going to be doing something really exciting. We are going to be building an end-to-end -end machine learning project. This video is going to be extremely beginner friendly. So despite whatever ML background you have, this is going to be extremely easy for you guys to follow with. So without any further ado, let's get started. In this tutorial, we are going to be building a predictive model made up of the XG boost algorithm to predict NFT prices. So we are going to be doing all of this on a Baskus AI's platform, which is an online platform where you can build a fully end-to-end -end machine learning project slash pipeline. Now, this tool is extremely useful. It is already being used by a lot of machine learning engineers in top tech companies. When it comes to building some of the most common ones, some of the most common technologies which are used in machine learning uh, companies such as computer vision, natural language processing, time series forecasting, etc., this platform is excellent for that because it has all of these pre-packaged uh, machine learning pipelines ready for you guys to deploy. It is really easy to use. All you have to do is plug in your own data and you can deploy your model on their website as well as train it and test it as well and get the results for that. And also you're able to deploy this onto whatever service that you want to. So that is extremely, extremely useful. Most of us who work in the tech industry as data scientists and machine learning engineers, we're not actually creating brand new machine learning algorithms to address common problems we are most likely going to be using existing machine learning pipelines and maybe just tweaking it or trying to make it better so that the accuracy is better. But we're not building entirely new algorithms for common problems. So that's why it's extremely useful for brand new machine learning engineers like you guys or people who are learning machine learning that they know how to use tools like Abascus AI and you know exactly how to use these prepackaged uh, ML pipelines to solve very common ML, pipe, uh, ML problems that are common in the tech industry, such as anomaly detection, object recognition, image recognition, etc. It is really important that you know how to use tools like this. To start off with this tutorial, be sure to click in the description box below to Abascus AI's link and create your account so that we can get started with this tutorial. Once you sign up to Abascus AI's platform, you get to a page like this and you are able to create your own end-to-end -end machine learning project. So go ahead and click create project. Once you click that, you get to see a bunch of different use cases. So these are very common use cases in the tech industry and we are going to be looking at predictive modeling. But if you would like, you can definitely experiment with a lot of other use cases such as personalization, vision AI for computer vision, as well as anomaly detection, etc. cetera. Uh, but for this tutorial, we are going to be looking at predictive modeling. So go ahead and click that. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and name this project as NFT price prediction. Click finish. And let's specify the target variable. So the first step is actually specifying the target variable. The target variable is a variable that we would like to predict. So what exactly do we want this machine learning model, this XG boost model to predict? And that is NFT price. So let's name this as NFT price. And next up, let's add a bunch of different independent variables, which our NFT price will be dependent on. So for example, such as what is the rarity of this NFT? And also how many times has it been sold, etc. So what are the different types of variables should we consider? Should this algorithm consider to predict the NFT price? So the independent variables that we will be considering is the rarity of an NFT the last sale price from its last sale and as well as the sale count. Once we have chosen the different type of variables that we have looked at, once we've named them, we're going to finish and upload data. So go ahead and click that. And then it gives you the option of using an existing data set or creating a new data set. And we are going to be uploading our own data set so click create data set. I'm going to be leaving the data set that I've used in the description box below and you guys can actually make use of that as well. 
So let's click create new and let's name this NFT training data. And let's go ahead and upload the file and click add data set. So they are doing some data processing. Uh, Abascus AI's platform definitely does some data processing where they look at the type of data formats and also they split it uh, into columns to make it easier. Since we're uploading a CSV file, it is much easier. But if you're uploading a JSON file, that is also possible. And it's also compatible with a lot of, lot of different data files as well. Once our data has been uploaded, we can explore and train models. So let's go ahead and click on that. And if there was any error with the data that we've uploaded, Abascus AI's platform definitely lets you know, and it also shows the existing error. So there was a mapping error with the data we uploaded. So let's fix that and click on fix mapping errors. Because of the data that we uploaded, it was unsure exactly which column is relating to the target variable that we have chosen, which is NFT price. So let's go ahead and click predicted price, which will be equivalent to the target variable we have chosen. Once you've done that, click set and save schema. And once you've done that, you can go back to NFT price prediction and click on train models. Click on train model. Training the model usually takes some time to complete. You will get an email letting you know once the model has been trained. Since we're not really working with a super large data set, uh, this model is not going to take that long to train. While this model is training, let me show you guys the metrics of another model that I've trained for the same use case, NFT price prediction. And one of the reasons why it takes quite some time to train this model uh, is that Abascus AI is looking at multiple different types of machine learning model. In fact, it is training your data on multiple different types of machine learning model and trying to find which is the most efficient one on your data type. So for example, the classical one for this type of use case is XGBoost and it has done training on that and it has gotten pretty good error rates as well with very low error. And also it has looked at CAD Boost, SK Learn, uh, and also deep neural networks as well. There are so many different models that it has looked at. And by looking at the type of error rates that you're getting, you can actually go ahead and choose which is the best model that you would like to use. So you can choose this as the best model. For example, Decision Trees has a really low mean absolute error. You can also look at this graph on the predicted versus actual values. And also you can look at the partial dependence score for each variable that you have selected. So for example, sale count, as well as the rarity of an NFT, as well as the last sale price. So these are a lot of different metrics that if you were to do this yourself on Jupyter Notebook, etc., you would have to write your own code for this. But with Abascus AI's uh, platform, you can easily get all of these metrics on hand at a click of a button. And it's really, really convenient. Also, the fact that they are training your data on multiple different machine learning models is really useful because oftentimes you would perhaps try out one or two. But the fact that they are trying it out on more than five different machine learning models and you get to choose uh, right then and there, which one you want to make use of based on its error rate is very, very useful. Once the model has been fully trained, you can go ahead and deploy it. And once you have deployed the model, we can actually look at the stats and also let's use our model to predict on test data as well. So click on dashboard under deployments. When we are on the dashboard for predictions, we can actually enter in different values for our variables, such as rarity, last sale price, and sale count. And once we enter different variables, we can actually get the predicted price based on the variables that we're entering. Uh, this can be great if you just want to experiment and play around, or if you don't want to specifically test your model on a specific data set. This is a great way of experimenting and trying to see what your model can actually get out. It's a really good interface to just test the machine learning model that has been created as well. So for example, let me enter a random rarity value of 500, a last sale price of 
six Ethereum, and perhaps maybe this NFT has a sale count, essentially the number of times it has been sold of four times. And let's click predict. So based on these variables that we have entered, this NFT should be predicted, should have a predicted price of 7.65 Ethereum. So that's pretty interesting that uh, this model has predicted that. So one of the coolest things about this Avascus AI's end-to-end -end machine learning platform is that you actually get an API for your model at the end, and you can actually make use of this predictions API to launch your model onto any service that you have, whether it is a web application or an other sort of application that you have. You can actually call your model uh, using Python or curl commands, and you can actually get data from your model and use it in your service. So this is a truly end-to-end -end service, and this is super easy to use, especially if you are already starting out with machine learning, or even if you're currently working in the tech industry, this is a really, really useful service where you're easily able to integrate a machine learning model into your existing service. Be sure to check out the link in the description box below if you haven't already to Abascus AI's platform and let me know what you guys plan on building. They have a bunch of different projects besides the one that I showed in this video. So make sure to check those out as well. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.